Acid damage, uh, another one of the uh, elemental types of damage. It's relatively uh, straightforward. It's, um, you know, chemical reactions and, and cor corrosive uh, uh, liquids and, and materials and gases are, are uh, uh, ways to flavor it. It's a bit restrictive in its flavor and use, though. Um, it's pretty cheap, but it's quite it's resisted, uh, at least a uh, uh, fair amount. Um, though it's 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 kind of rare, like uh, when it's compared to poison. Poison is a lot more resistant, a lot more common. Where acid is kind of less of both of those. Um, but it certainly has its uses. Whether it's a, a vial of acid bought from a, a mundane uh, item store or a powerful uh, storm where acid rain falls from the sky, it quite it comes in quite a few forms regardless. Spells that deal acid damage include um, acid arrow, surprise, surprise, acid splash, hunger of Hadar, that's a fun one, primal savagery, storm of vengeance, Tasha's caustic brew, vitrolic spear, and elemental spells like chromatic orb and the uh, damaging effect of whiff of warning. Um, well, it can be one of those options, but um, it's very uh, straightforward. Um, I like how many lingering effects uh, it has, like in Caustic Brew, you have to wipe it off or it keeps doing damage each turn, and how um, Essendero kind of corrodes at the start of the next turn. It's like it's, you know, it's eating into them and it continues the effect and it's ongoing. I love that. Um, and then you really need to do that corrosive element. So, besides the elemental ones, most of the acid spells are evocation or conjuration, similar to thunder and a lot of the elemental spells, um, uh, elemental damage spells, that is, and, um, which of course makes sense, you know, damaging them with acid or summoning acid, uh, in the case of acid splash or storm of vengeance. Uh, elementals, uh, water elementals are resistant to acid. Many oozes uh, are uh, immune or resistant to acid like black pudding, gray ooze, and uh, ultra jelly. Uh, fiends as well uh, sometimes are resistant to acid along as many of the elemental types. Um, again, creatures who are resistant to all the elemental types or many of them, acid is usually among them. Um, Black and copper dragons are immune to acid damage, as well as <clears throat> dealing it. Oozes uh, also deal acid damage to many water-related uh, creatures. Um, and then, of course, uh, monstrosities uh, that, that have, like, acidic spit, or something like the Ross monster, where, again, like the oozes and the rust monster, it really leans into that corrosive element, considering that rust monsters and oozes damage non-medical weapons and armor, making them weaker. Um... Again, there's some interesting interactions there, like with trolls, if they if they take acid damage, they don't heal. Um, and on the other side of that spectrum, if a clay golem takes damage, they're actually healed by uh, it, which is um, fun, which is uh, interesting. Um, then we have, there's not many uh, classes abilities that affect acid uh there's the alchemist artificers alchemic chemical focus which affects acid which again is really flavorful because um chemicals and, and acid uh and then the only real time you see that is with elemental or draconic effects like the draconic sorcerers uh you can choose um acid as your your favorite damage type or um you know like uh, elemental a spell is one of the new tasks metamatic options which um, you can change the damage type to and from one elemental type to another. For flavor, the uh, corrosiveness makes this really interesting. It could fizzle and pop when it reacts to flesh, uh, being more of a chemical reaction, creating a faint, bitter taste uh, or, or smell in the air, leaving chemical smoke in its wake, causing chemical burns and such. And that's uh, pretty much it. Acid has a, a lot of fun uses, um, and uh, so watch out for it. And also... Um, try to find the best ways to utilize it. This is Sean from Dodeca Dungeon, signing out.